Stephen Hawking says the usual approach of science of constructing a mathematical model cannot answer the question why there should be a universe for the model to describe. Wow. He then asks, why does the universe go to all the bother of existing? Does it need a creator? Yes, it does need a creator. Alan Sandage, widely regarded as one of the fathers of modern astronomy, discovered quasars, said, I find it quite improbable that such order came out of chaos. There has to be some organizing principle. God to me is a mystery, but is the explanation for the miracle of existence, why there is something rather than nothing. Einstein had the brilliant insight that the speed of light was an absolute constant. But what shall we say of the creative mind that said, let there be light, and there was light? To measure the speed of light is one thing, to create light is another. Far from science showing God is not great, as Christopher Hitchens suggests, the very opposite is the case. It was belief in God that motivated the advance of science in the 16th and 17th centuries. Galileo, Copernicus, Kepler, Newton expected to find law in nature because they believed in a great lawgiver. Now, so often we hear the new atheists talk about faith and deprecating it. But I want to tell you that scientists are all people of faith, as Einstein saw. They believe that the universe is accessible to the human mind. And physics cannot explain that for the simple reason that you can't do physics without believing that the universe is intelligible. Hmm. So scientists required wow. faith, and yet I read Christopher Hitchens saying, if one must have faith to believe in something, then the likelihood of that something having truth or value is considerably diminished. Pardon? Well, one must have faith that the universe is intelligible to do science. So I am to deduce, am I, that the likelihood of science having truth or value is considerably diminished? Exit science then. And I presume that Christopher Hitchens, like most hmm. of the rest of us, believes in his own existence. Yes, am I to take it then that the likelihood he really does exist is considerably diminished? His statement is a self-refuting statement. And I find it ironical that the so-called new atheists are so passionate about ridding the world of faith that they appear to be blind to the fact that they themselves are driven by faith. Wow. They believe that their minds can grasp truth. They believe in science. They believe that God is not great. 